All right, so these are the axles, they're Moser. They are 31 spline count, and they, these did actually come pre-studded. But before we put those in, we actually have to take this sticker off, and luckily it only came on one, but we have to take the sticker off. And there's a way to do that if you don't have a bench grinder. I'm gonna show you just how. All right, so the secret if you don't have a bench grinder is a razor blade. And all you do is get right behind it in a sawing motion and go back and forth ever so slightly pulling on the label itself at the same time and it will come off. Okay. All right, so here's the grease to put on for the seals and it's just a straight grease uh, no need for like high temperature or anything, you can if you want, but you need to. And we're just going to glue it up right in here. Next on the list, Cobra Caliper Mounting Brackets from Ford Performance. Now what these do is they give you the clearance for Cobra Calipers, which I'll be installing and how to tell, differentiate which is what side. So you do left and right, and it is depicted on the, on the bracket itself. But basically it'll go in like so, and this kit does come with some new anti-moan braces, and they are powder coated black, and again, it depicts which side is what side. And there is a trick to installing this. There's always a trick, always a trick. Method to the madness. Uh, one thing that you will need though is your original hardware if you have it, like in, in my case I am replacing my whole rear end. Why they don't provide you new hardware is beyond me, but something to keep in mind. Okay, so as stated, it's a left side and, and if, if there's any confusion, left would be as if you were facing the front of the vehicle. So left would be driver's side and it would go in like this. And how do you know it doesn't go in this way? Well, two reasons. One. The bolt is going to be recessed inside here, and two, when you put the caliper on, remember that the caliper is facing the rear of the uh, of the wheel well here. So this is where your caliper bracket mounts, and we'll go in just like so, and you get your bolts, and you will start threading them in. All right, now that we got the caliper mounting bracket installed, next is the anti moan brace. Uh, so essentially it's going to go in like so, but there is a problem because when you put the U-bolt in, this upper shock mount is in the way. It's supposed to be like this. So how do you get this facing like this? Because I've already had the passenger side installed. I, actually, I did that before I started installing this. But how do you do that? Let me show you. Okay, so you somehow need to get the U-bolt through here to where it faces this direction. So you don't want to bang it down this way. What you want to do is go up. But the problem is you want to damage the thread. So what you do is you, or I would highly recommend you wrapping it up with electrical tape because it's a little bit more flexible and not brittle or prone to breaking as fast like masking tape. So get it, put it underneath here like so, and just gently bang it into place. Voila. I am not fully tightening these on because I don't have my calipers in yet. But uh, once I do and adjust them accordingly, these will get tightened. is basically how it's done. All right, so when you install your axles, um, you're gonna need some new C-clips. And these are brand new C-clips, but there's a, there's a difference to each side. There is a rounded side and a flat side. And it is imperative that you have the rounded side facing outside towards the wheel and the flat side inside 
towards the hub. So essentially they would sandwich, if you were to look at it, they would sandwich like that. Remember, flat side in. And now, boys and girls, the crown achievement. Yes, so remember the axles are in, the caliper mounting brackets, the anti moan braces, the bushings, the gears, all of it's in. And now we get to seal the deal with this cover. It does come with its own hardware and it does come with a Felpro gasket, which I'm gonna use, maybe, I don't know. We'll see, here we go. And there it is. So with the cover finally installed onto the rear end, this pretty much completes and solidifies the setup process. Well, almost. Still got a few things left to be installed, like the rotors, and yes, they are now Cobra rotors. They aren't the, uh, the ones that came with the kit. The Cobra calipers, which it has to be a Cobra caliper now, since it's pretty much a Cobra setup. The dust shields that came with that kit, and obviously the rear differential fluid, but none of those things are gonna prohibit this from actually being mounted and installed onto the car. I can just get to those at a later date. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like it. I like the way it came out. I know it took a year, and for those of you that know the history on this thing, uh, I could have already bought one that was pre-assembled and ready to be shipped out to me, but this was a lot funner to do, and I, I like actually enjoyed going this route. Uh, learned a couple things. But uh, yeah, uh, other than that, I've got to uh, install the upper and lower control arms, the rear sway bar, and the new springs, and uh, hopefully get this thing on the ground as promised in about the next week or so. Stay tuned, see ya.